Wolf Arts Garage and today what I'm doing is I'm going to mat some pictures onto a frame for my mom as a Christmas present. These pictures are from uh, after my dad passed away. We had all had gotten together and we took some individual family pictures and then we took one big giant picture of everybody there and I'm going to go ahead and put them in a mat board and frame it and hopefully she'll like it. I'm sure she will, but it's also just one of the many hobbies that I do is uh, photography, and I've always enjoyed taking pictures since I was a young kid, and even though I never made a business out of it, I enjoy doing it, and right now what I'm doing is you're seeing me measuring out the center of the board so that I can go ahead and line up my pictures and figure out how I'm going to put them on there. So <clears throat> once I get it all figured out and lined up and everything, then I'll go ahead and go over to the mat cutter that I have and start cutting out the holes and fitting in the pictures. So the map cutter I'm using is made by Logan. It's the classic map cutter. And it's the one I used in school when I was taking photography classes. It's about a 32 to 36 inch uh, cutter lengthwise. It's the perfect cutter for basic matting and for people who do arts and crafts and stuff. And just an overall good cutter for what I need. And it's very simple to use. It doesn't have a whole lot of components to, you know, to have to deal with and everything. And I really enjoyed it. It did a great job for me. So I'm sorry I couldn't show you the actual cutting of the holes and stuff because that part of the video didn't come out right and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the finished product once I've, I'm done fastening the back of it on there. And I hope you enjoyed this small video. It wasn't much, but it was a little something to just put on my YouTube. And I hope you guys keep following me and... Hope I can show you something else in the future. Thank you.